Well, she is an Instagram sensation with over 134,000 followers, our favourite bachelorette, and now she can add author to her bio with a new book, The Lazy Girl's Guide to Living a Beautiful Life. Please welcome to the cafe, Matilda Rice. Thanks, Yay, Matilda! <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, you, your book, this is pretty cool. Now it's relationship, fitness, recipes, styling, beauty mm -hmm. tips. I mean, you've got everything in there. Covering what, all bases. Why did you decide to write a book? Uh, basically because I think there's a lot of health and wellness books marketed to women uh, that are very much follow this diet, um, get in shape in 12 weeks kind of thing. Um, but there aren't really any books that are a bit more fun and and a, a little bit less intimidating. Um, so, so I really wanted to write this to kind of show people that you don't have to follow such a strict diet to be happy and be in shape. And I kind of want to show women to um, just embrace themselves a little bit more and be a bit kinder to, to themselves because I think, you know, as women especially, we can be pretty hard on us. Ourselves. Yeah, we can. You're a self-confessed lazy girl. I'm mm -hmm. using your words, not mine. Yeah. <laughs> Most people would look at you and not believe mm. that. Uh, really? Yeah. Well, that's what I really wanted to get across in the book is that I am naturally incredibly lazy. <laughs> um, but I, I want to show people that um, even though you are lazy, you don't have to change your life significantly to um, accomplish goals. And like as soon as you start small, then you work from there, you can accomplish huge things. Mm. Yeah, and that's why we love you, because ultimately I think every, every girl is a little bit lazy underneath it all. Oh, absolutely. Even if we fake it with our smoothies <laughs> on Instagram, still a little bit <laughs> yeah. lazy. Um, do you, is it true that you actually hated fruit and veggies, and so you, you lived on Spag mm -hmm. for a while? Yeah, it wasn't really until I was about 21 that I started eating fruit and vegetables. I was just... Uh, spag bowl, just very beige kind of foods like your breads, your cheese. Um, but now I, I eat um, just everything under the sun, really, except goat's cheese. But Why not? Right. Don't like it's it. It's gross. You know, you've, got, you've got to marry Art Green, you have to eat everything because he eats a lot of interesting things. He, he does. I was going to yeah. ask, do you do the paleo thing like Art? Are you... At, um, at that level? We, we do eat paleo most of the time, so yep. probably about 80 to 90%. Um, but we're also all about balance as well. So sure. if we go out for dinner or if we're hanging out with friends, we're not going to be anal about it. Yeah. No. No. It's 80-20 isn't it? Yeah. You should do 80 percent Nobody wants than to be that guy. Yeah. No, you don't want to be out at dinner going, oh, I'm sorry, not gonna, is, that, is, that pa is that bread paleo? <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to be having that. <laughs> exactly. Um, now there is a photo in this book that I really want to, well there's many photos that I want to share of you laughing into the, into the distance. They're great. <laughs> mm -hmm. But this particular photo, you had a bit of an addiction mm. uh, and you have outed yourself in your book. I'm just going to see if you can zoom in here and see <laughs> these photos here. Yeah. This, this young woman down here, this is Matilda going through her self-tanning phase and being a little bit, and also with dark hair, but mm -hmm. I mean, you are orange girl. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I was channeling Trump back then. Mm -hmm. You were. <laughs> <laughs> the chisel look. Is that yeah, what they say? Yeah, exactly. Why yeah. was it important to share this stuff? Why, why did you feel it was important? Um, because I think everybody goes through you know, s stages of really bad beauty fails. Um, and I think in this new social media world, there's this kind of um, connotation that everyone's world is so perfect and they look perfect all the time um, and they've had a perfect life. But really, I want to show people, like, everyone goes through this kind of thing and you can come out the other side of, of your fake tan addictions and your bad eyebrows <laughs> and you can blossom, you know? <laughs> Oh, and I, I also love the fact that you've got like four common fitness fibs in here saying things mm -hmm. that you've found with your working out. Um, obviously working out is very important to you mm -hmm. and to art as well, something you do as a couple. Yep. What sort of things do you like to do? Uh, I pre prefer to work out at home. Um, so at Anything that I can do quickly and in the comfort of my own living room is ideal and I really like running as well because I find gyms they can sometimes be a little bit full on. Yeah, you but know. how do you keep that motivation? I suppose if you've got Art doing something on the, the deck, I saw him on his Instagram the other day yeah. doing burpees down, down the oh, deck. Oh, he loves a burpee, that guy. Because the motivation at home, I find that's mm. the struggle I have. It's like I get home and get into the sweatpants and I'm on the sofa. It's hard oh, to get out mm. to get the mat totally. and do anything. Mm. Yeah. Uh, it's more I just find things that, that I enjoy as well and I just really try and focus on that feeling of after you've finished it and how amazing you feel and I just try and re remember that when I really can't be bothered doing something. Just think, I'm going to feel good. I'm going to feel good. What are people saying? What's the feedback so far? It's been really positive. Yeah, really positive. So it's always a bit scary when you're putting yourself out there like that. You just don't know how people are going to react. But, but on Instagram, I've had um, just so many positive messages and pictures of people reading the book. So, yeah, yeah. it's just been really, really awesome. Well, well, it's obviously written, you've written it because it's in your mm -hmm. voice. You can hear that. Um, Art's written a book as well. Did mm -hmm. you do any book comparisons? 
Uh, well, we did because I was like, look, mine's got more Better colours. Than yours. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, photo. you know, yours is so many words. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not competitive at all. Yeah. <laughs> what do you hope people get from it? Uh, I hope that, that people get inspired um, to just kind of treat their body as their best friend um, and just come back to it when they need it. There's, there's so much info in there. There's nutrition, there's exercise, there's beauty, there's um, stress relief, relationships. So, yeah, I hope they just hold on to it and any time they, they feel like they need something, they can refer to it. Well, Matilda, it is the perfect, it's a really great book and the Thank perfect you. Christmas present. Yes. Two, oh, How Christmas convenient. On the corner. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Now, The Lazy Girl's Guide to Living a Beautiful Life is available right now where all good books are sold.